We have to stop copying each other and making the same stories over and over and over again. We repeat each other, which is terribly inefficient, terribly wasteful, is not the best use of journalistic resource. So we've got to shift out of that business model built on volume to a business model built on value. I'm not so sure we have to become like Facebook or Google, we have to learn lessons from Facebook and Google. And uh, Facebook and Google both know more about our readers and our content than we do. We still put out a mass media product, the same thing for everybody. And we think, this is wonderful, we made it, you're welcome, here it is, now you should all just enjoy what we did. Well, in a world of too much content, that's, that doesn't work anymore. Facebook and Google are better at knowing me as individuals. My, my example is I use Waze, the traffic app, on my Android phone every day. So when I get in my car tonight and I turn it on, it will say, are you going home? Which means Google knows where I live and where I work. And please calm your Datenschutz fears over this. It'll be okay. Um, Google can then give me far more relevant content. Every time I make a search, every time I go to content, every time I do everything, Google can give me more relevance. It knows when I'm out of town, if I'm in Berlin, I don't live there. It's not going to ask me to go home. It's going to give me new restaurants to go to I haven't been before. Google can give me greater relevance. BuzzFeed has a particular skill set. BuzzFeed knows how to make cats viral. And, and they do that well. And BuzzFeed also happens to hire some very good journalists, which is fine. When we try to copy that, we end up doing some stupid things. And the example of this, I think, is Upworthy. So Upworthy copied the BuzzFeed model. Let's get as many people as we can to read our stories, and let's do it by writing ridiculous headlines that will promise to change your life. Until you realize the third time you click on a headline, it didn't change your life, and they're lying to you. That's kind of how people are trying to copy BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed has a particular skill. And, and the problem I have with our entire industry, including BuzzFeed still, is that it's too media-centered instead of public-centered. That is to say, we, try to, we write our content first and then we put all of our skills to get people to read our stuff, because that's what our business model is still based on, is being able to show advertising messages during that. As opposed to become, becoming public-centered, uh, we have a new degree here at CUNY called Social Journalism, which I helped start where we believe you've got to go to a community first, understand its needs first, then decide what tools of journalism you bring to help meet those needs. And that's going to have a much higher value, I think, than merely trying to trick people into reading your stuff. Less and less and less. Uh, the New York Times in its, in its uh, innovation report uh, worried that the traffic to the, no more than a third of people see their homepage. And this is the New York Times in a day. That's where news judgment matters. Um, their homepage traffic at the time that the report looked at had fallen 50%. The New York Times is still much bigger in its homepage traffic than other sites. A lot of American news sites that I know of, their homepage traffic is now dangling around 10% in a day. The majority of people come to their stories directly from search and social and all these other uh, avenues we know. And soon they won't even come to the site. They'll read this content on Facebook, on Apple, on Nuzzle, on Flipboard. You know, we can go on and on and on with all the ways people can read content. So does this mean that the, that the, web page, the homepage is dead and the site is dead? No, these things have been declared dead before and they, and they still live on. But if we think that we're gonna make our business just by forcing people to come to us, if we think we're going to make our business by forcing people to do anything, we will fail. Uh, we have to go to where people are. And so I think that a website becomes more of an archive, a repository. If you want to go look at it, great, it's there. But we put a huge amount of resource right now in most news sites into designing and, and changing the homepage. I'm not sure that's the best use of our time. Maybe we should put that effort into doing really smart alerts and newsletters. Mm -hmm.